It's morning guys, so <laughs> I'm going to be bringing my cheating boyfriend his breakfast because he's lucky that I'm actually a nice girlfriend. Okay. And I'm actually going to bring his breakfast even though he's cheated. So this is the breakfast, <laughs> Barney Bear. He likes this white chocolate milkshake oh and a Kinder gosh. chocolate bar so he doesn't moan about the fact that it's British chocolate. So... You got the boy sleeping on the floor. Klaus. <laughs> Wake up. I got you breakfast. What? I had nightmares. <laughs> what? I had nightmares of the girl from the bar. <laughs> You had nightmares. It's so oh, my, my back hurts. <laughs> I can't sleep here. It's so hard here. <clears throat> Why did you wake me up? I just fall asleep. <laughs> it's so Okay, here's your breakfast. <laughs> Better not complain about it. Where's my milk? What is this for a breakfast? What's wrong with it? You're lucky I brought you breakfast. What's the teddy bear? It sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't want to stay here ever again. I'm telling you this. Okay, well, we're going shopping. Get out! Shopping today, you're going to get me a Chanel bag. If I can sleep on a normal bed, <laughs> we can go shopping, but this is not going to happen again. This is. This. My hurt, my back hurts. Why did you wake me up? It's the worst sleep I've ever had in my life. This is crazy. And you're still dreaming about other girls. I'm not, I, it was a nightmare. She, she turned into a nightmare, this woman. With her blonde hair before. Now she's a nightmare. Oh my God, that's funny. She's a trauma. I don't want this anymore. Change this shit now. <laughs> this is towel is too hot. <laughs> you don't even have a you don't even have a blanket for me. You can't do this to me. Eat your breakfast. Jesus. I, I need to wash my face first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's morning, guys. So I'm gonna be. I love the fact that he's rhyming as well. I would never advise anybody to cheat. I don't think that you should ever cheat. If you're with somebody, you should just be with them. And if you're not what sexually attracted or something, maybe what go to a therapist or like a marriage counselor and, and try to work through that because cheating is one of the worst things that you can ever do. What is up guys? My name is Yambo Davidson and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've traveled the world and one of the most irritating things are flight delays. I just hate it when my flight gets delayed. That is why we're partnered up with today's video sponsor, AirHelp. AirHelp helps you claim up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. So sign up today and earn up to 600 euros for every delayed flight. The link is in the description. When I was flying from Namibia to Sweden, my flight was delayed. So I used AirHelp actually and they did wonders. So I actually earned 600 euros and I did not have to pay for that flight, which was amazing. Sign up today. Hi, I'm Megan and I'm really lonely. I was okay. on Bumble tonight. Mm. That's bad because Bumble is so sad. Dating apps are so sad and not because people are on dating apps. Dating apps have worked for a lot of people. Okay. But they make me so angry. Um, it's like every person who I go past, and I'm like, oh, he looks nice or mm. he looks good. Okay. And I, you know, do the whole swipe right thing. It's like <clears throat> none of them, <laughs> none of them like me back, which, okay, sure. My taste in men apparently does not relate to their taste in me, I guess. Bummer. Um, but then there are people that I'm like, ooh, ooh, you know, there's somebody for everybody, but that everybody is not for for me right now, you know, like that. So this is a case of a woman being too delusional. I have to say, with every single person, you have the people that you can attract, and usually the people that you can attract is 
on the same level. That's why sometimes I get hot girls, sometimes I get a little fat girls and I kind of hate it, you know, when I attract fat girls, but I'm like, okay, there must be something about me which is attracting these girls, right? Sometimes you just gotta look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself the question, what am I attracting? And if you're attracting ugly people, I'm not gonna put it out there, but maybe that is where you are on the look scale. Somebody's it's not for me. Um, and I swear to you, every time I think that, I swipe left and they're like, you missed a potential match. <laughs> am I that out of touch with who I am? Yeah. And what I attract? Yes. I don't even know if you do you understand me. Like, 100%. Am I that delusional? I think I'm a catch, but I, I, I might, I might not be, I guess. Mm -hmm. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. I can do this, right? We can just do this. This is another video of her. So we can see the body, okay? I'm feeling just a little bit frail. I haven't been eating that much, so I don't know if I look like scary thin or anything. Nope, you look like your voluptuous self to me. So I'm just saying. It has nothing to do with her. I'm not attacking her. Gorgeous content creator. She's a 10 and all of that jazz. But we have to be honest sometimes. And the honesty comes when the people that you attract, if you're attracting sevens, guess what? Maybe you're seven. If you're attracting fives, listen, <laughs> maybe you're a five. But if you're attracting twos, listen, maybe you're two. Or you could be you could be a five, which is attracting twos, but usually you don't attract above your looks. Usually that doesn't happen. Usually you attract on the same or under. So if you're attracting like the, just think of the most attractive girl or man that you've ever attracted. That's how you have to think. Okay. Ah, oh, that person was, he was a, a five. And that's the answer. If you're in your 40s, 40 plus, and you're just hitting the dating scene for the okay. first time in 15, 20 years, the learning curve is steep. Mm. Oh my God. I got on the apps and I just assumed that all these profiles I was seeing of women were people who genuinely wanted a relationship and were looking for what they said they wanted in their profile. And oh, how naive I was. Mm. <laughs> no, it's... Um, there's a lot of people that are in relationships already, married, in serious relationships, looking for something else. A lot of people lying about their true intentions. Mm. They don't actually want a long-term committed relationship when they say they do. Um, yeah. That's... A good place that you can start if you're looking for a partner is church. Because usually the people which are good or the people which want to be good, they go to church. So it's almost like looking at it from this perspective where you say like people which go to the gym says something about those people that they're disciplined that they can stick to one task work on their body that they have self-confidence that's where you have to look for partners not on dating apps because honestly most of the people which are on the dating apps they want to hook up very quickly they want it fast let's say you want to date a person that is fit right got a good body and the first place that you're looking for a person that has a good body is at the candy shop or at mcdonald's so it doesn't really make any sense why you'd go to mcdonald's or you would go to i don't know chick-fil-a so if you want a good girl maybe you should go to church so i've been seeing this guy for a couple months okay really like him but i think i'm gonna break it off today because let me ask you something no matter how much you like someone if that person <clears throat> makes you cry it's not worth it right if he is meant for you it's supposed to be easy right no matter what easy isn't fun most of the women which i know which i've met usually just want to have a good time 
So they're more emotionally based. And when she's emotional, that is when she's like, oh my God, I love him because he's making me feel something. A girl never usually thinks with logic. She's not like, okay, that is a good mate for me. That's why it's like usually a guy which is good gets cheated on. Why? Just because he's a good guy. And she kind of loses respect for you after a while if you're just a good person. That's it. So I get it 100% sounds good, but a girl like this is dating a douchebag and the douchebag is putting her through all of these emotions. And then she's constantly going to be thinking about the douchebag and then she's like, oh my God, oh, this was so frustrating and it's so hard dating men and I hate all men. And then she goes to the nice guy and then she destroys the nice guy because she's going through all of these emotions and that constant flow. And if you're a man, what you do is you stay away from women which have a tendency of going for guys which are emotional roller coasters.